This is Golden Era Body GE0300 three tone sunburst presented on a two piece Alder Jazzmaster body weighing before hardware 1.9 kilograms or four pounds and three ounces. I kind of challenged myself with this one to not go over the top because when you're doing sunbursts more so than solid colors or certainly you know how my processes work you're always tempted to show layers and you know you guys have seen this before with what i do i was i, I like to show that there's different layers to this but it's also extremely thin but with the sunbursts it's kind of i don't know for me it just maybe it's because i like sunbursts more than anything else but it it's i almost had this challenge for myself to not go over the top with this body and what we've ended up with is something that's ridiculously photogenic and just to prove a point that i've been making since golden era it launched a couple of years ago when they did the, t the changeover you don't have to remove paint to show that something is aged it's a complete fallacy that that has to happen it's much more important to try and age the paint and the lacquer that's on the guitar and you can see that very clearly with the image that's on the screen right now and i've done a very very slow panning out of this because i really want you to take all of that in that's what that guitar looks like in sunlight when the light hits it it looks absolutely amazing i personally like this body so much that if somebody said to me you know, scott show me what you do show me one thing that represents everything that you do in one body i would probably show them that it's got absolutely everything and there's no paint missing it's that whole thing of not taking the paint off challenge yourself to age something patina something without taking the finish off and that's where a lot of people go wrong with this type of thing you want it to be aged half the paint comes off no, that's not, I mean, hey, that's not how I like to do it. That's not how a lot of other people are now starting to see that that's not, you know, that's not how it's done. So you can see all the images on screen. They're all just highlighting just how beautiful the lacquer looks now that it has been distressed and aged, worn in a bit. I've left this one gloss for the simple reason that I've been doing quite a lot of satin finishes recently. So this one this one does have the gloss going on but it's such a it's such an amazing body it's i mean whoever buys this is going to have an absolute blast with it and i can't wait to see how it ends up this is one i could talk about for hours but i'm not going to so we'll keep it at a, a nice short preview and this one will be available from 7 p.m on november 9th thanks for watching